logged into the Fusion applications with some username and password, okay? And you are trying to create a goal plan, but this user is not an employee. This user is a implementation user, not an employee user. That's what system is showing. Person ID means employee ID is not available. It's missing. It's missing. Person ID attribute. Whoever has submitted this request, that person ID attribute is missing. So what Oracle says, goal plan should be created by only employees, not the implementation users. Because obviously when the organizations are setting the goals and assign the goals to the employees, obviously the employees will do that, right? The current user is not an employee user account. It's an implementation user account. It means this user account you have created directly from security console, from the tools menu security console. I'll show you uh, where exactly you have this here. And let me just go with this. So cancel. Let me cancel this. Go to Navigator. This is the Redwood Experience UI user interface. Let's go to Tools menu, Security Console. We are entering into the Users tab. And uh, who is the current user? This user. The moment when you go to the user account, you can understand that he is not an employee. This user is not an employee. It's directly created here. How to find whether this is created directly in Security Console or if this user account is an employee account, you will find that information here. Here you will find the employee details. Here you can find employee details. What we have to do? We need to hire an employee, create a user account, add the role and perform this goal plan. Let me show you that. Go to Navigator. My client groups. We know already how to hire an employee. Let's go to new person. I'm hiring an employee here. Hire an employee. I'm just hiring an employee, Mr. Karan Kumar. And we'll try to create a goal plan by logging with this employee. Okay. I'm just selecting some job name. So now we are hiring an employee. We did successfully, Mr. Kiran Kumar. Let's go to Navigator, Person Management, and search for an employee.
Kiran Kumar has done successfully and uh, we will find user account here. Let's go to user account here. I can find the user account here. Let's go to the tab here. User account. account is created kumar dot that's the account last name dot first name and it is active we got one basic role employee role that's fine uh, what we required if you want to configure the goals from your uh, employee account we need a role called human resource specialist if you are an uh, human resource specialist then you can do this is what the user account now the moment when you check the user account you can find that this is my username and now I can find employee name, person number, for which job, who is the manager, in case if you have added manager and business unit department, this all. Let me go for add the role here, add role, human resource specialist. Let's go for save and close and update the password here. Let me update the password. Now, Mr. Kiran Kumar is an employee and he got a user account. But previous one, whatever we had, that is not an uh, employee. That's a directly created. It's an implementation user. This user is not having any work information means it's an uh, implementation user you can perform only setups you cannot perform the transaction what is the difference between setup and transaction setup means we are going to do as a software engineer as a functional consultant or technical consultant we are going to configure or set up the product for our client then what client will do client means client employees every day they'll come to office and start performing the day-to-day -day business transactions Hire employee, transfer employee, terminate employee, rehire employee, update employee information. Employee will apply for leave. Manager will go for approve or reject. Okay. Then they are going to run the programs, daily breakdown reports. This is all day to day, the business, whatever they do, that's what we call it as a transaction. Okay. Now this user is going to log in. Go to navigator here. My client groups. We are trying to configure the goals. What we are trying to do, we want to create a goal plan. Let's go for creation of the goal plan. So we got error initially. So we identified that the current login user is not an employee account. So obviously we have to go for creation of Goal plan based on with employee account. Let's go for create add. I'm going to specify error response during rest action. No issue. So let me just go for create this goal plan. If you want to go for add eligibility profiles, let's go for add eligibility profile and then include employees other than the eligibility. If you want to include any employees, you can do that here. Go for from that. Mentioning self and direct reports. And then uh, if you want to go for exclude any of the employees, can be done from here.
so far created. A goal plan created successfully. Earlier we got the problem that's because of the user account. So this must be an uh, employee user account. Must be an employee user account. So what is our goal name? HP goal plan. This is our goal plan. This is our goal plan. This is our goal. Plan. Within this goal plan, we can go for add the goals. We can go for add the goals. Goal plan is basically a group of goals which we are assigning to the employees. We can have either one goal or multiple goals. So while creating the goal plan, I mentioned that it's maximum four goals allowed, right? So now it will allow. There are some suggested goals also. System is suggesting some of the goals here from the library. So you can select from the library and you can go for and this here. We can also use a existence artificial intelligence. We can go for use that. So that will give the more information. It will give suggestion that you can go for and this goal to your requirement like that. We just now created a HP goals, right? That we can add from the library here. Can view suggested goals. Click this button; it will shows. Uh, something, some this this Redwood page is still it's not you uh, know flexible. With the application sometimes we'll get some rest or so uh, api some issues no problem don't worry about it. that is a technical issue now we added one goal here All these goals we are getting from the goal library. So whatever the goals we have in the library that we are getting it. So depends on the requirement, we can choose whatever the goal is required. We can go for add, copy. Whatever the information is there, that will be copied. So we can go for import the goals from some other. If you want to go for edit uh, display sequence, it can be edited here. Depends on the requirement. So this is how we can go for add the goals to the goal plan. Depends on the uh, requirement. Okay. So that that's how we have to resolve the issues in case if we get. So it's a regular uh, issue we will be getting when we are working.